The average car tire is good for about 50,000 miles. Almost 450 million tires are scrapped every year in the US. That's 6 billion pounds of rubber with nowhere to go. But they've still got life to spare. And not just the swings and boat bumpers. In Brantford, Canada, CRM tears up 13,000 pounds of tires every hour. Retired tires that would have landed in the dump are reformed into beautiful, flexible flower pots. At the plant, workers shred, freeze, and grind old tires to reduce them to pure rubber. Tires are made of 70% rubber, reinforced with steel belts for puncture resistance. Fabric plies add stability and keep an airtight seal. Steel wires called beads keep the tire mounted to the rim. The first step in the transformation is to de-bead and shred the tires. A worker feeds the tires into the hydraulic de-beater, which yanks out the steel. The tires ride a conveyor to the shredders. The first one, called a pre-shredder, acts like scissors, cutting the tires into 8-inch strips. Then, the shear shredder's 24 rotating blades slice the strips down to 3-inch chips. The chips drop onto a bouncing conveyor called the classifier. Anything smaller than 3 inches falls through the grid to form a mountain of tire pieces called shred. A skid steer shovels up the shred and carries it onto a conveyor, which feeds it into a cryogenic chamber. The crumbs land on a vibrating filter screen. The fiber remains on top, while the heavier rubber crumb falls through the screen and drops into super sacks. The rubber is mixed, melted, and molded to turn a tire into a flower pot.